Today, we're gonna make ourselves a wicked sandwich. And welcome to Freak Eating Challenge. Today, we're gonna make a sandwich. Not just any sandwich, but a wicked sandwich. Today, I'm working with Woody from Woody's Wicked Challenges. And we're gonna see who can make the more wicked, the more nasty, extreme sandwich. Now, I've got a paper plate, because we're gonna do this the clean way. And I'm gonna start with two slices of harmless wheat bread. Not gonna use the crust today, because the crust is for suckers. Two slices. Now, all my ingredients are pretty much here, no surprises. We're going to start with a very tame peanut butter and jelly mix. This is the most harmless thing that I'm going to be using. Of course, the jury is out. Do you use a spoon or do you use a fork to get this crap out of the jar? I used to use a knife growing up, but a few people made fun of me, so I switched to the spoon. Feel free to make fun of me yourself in the comment section below. So there we go. Nice mix of peanut butter jelly time on that bread. Okay. The nicest two things, the bread and the peanut butter, are down. So what's left? Pop rocks. Pop rocks don't really belong in a sandwich. Spread them around a little bit. Hey, I hear him gurgling. Snap, crackle, pop, snap, crackle, pop, snap, crackle, pop. Hmm, what's next? I got some ghost pepper sauce. That ought to get those little suckers going. It's like a sizzling steak. So, a little bit of ghost pepper sauce, durian extract, oh crap, this is hard to open. When in doubt, use your mouth, that's what she said. Just gonna get some nice durian paste going there. The sandwich looks like it was crafted in the bowels of hell. Whole bottle of durian paste. And last but not least, the coup de gras. The cup of grace. The fatal blow. Cinnamon toothpaste. Close up. Do not try this at home. Do not try this anywhere. I'm inspired to add toothpaste to my sandwich by the good old L.A. Beast. Here we go, just screw it, just all on there, all in. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm doing this. And we're off. Now that's what a wicked sandwich looks like. The only thing left to do is to shut the lid on this nasty concoction. Lift it up to my lips and enjoy. <laughs> oh, 
has got the cinnamon toothpaste looking bad enough. Like I'm getting the burning from the ghost pepper. Oh, this was this was a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, toothpaste was not meant to be eaten. Do not eat the stuff. Oh my god, I'm burning, I'm burning, I'm burning. All the pop rocks are like exploding in my mouth now. The cinnamon burns. Face is on fire, my lips are on fire. That is it. I am in total agony right now. My mouth is burning, my lips, my stomach. <laughs> the whole pile of toothpaste in front of me. I am not eating that. Toothpaste is not supposed to be eaten. I guess I just saw ladies do it and I figured, you know, what the hell. But, 
all the people who have eaten toothpaste have all said it, don't try it at home. I didn't listen, I tried it at home, never again. Check out Woody's version of this video in the link down below. And give Woody's Wicked Challenges a subscribe. The guy does some really, really awesome hardcore type challenges. And if you enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Give your reaction to what you thought of this disgusting Wicked Challenge, Wicked Sandwich. Leave some ideas for future things you'd like to see me tackle. And until next time, stay in school. Don't do drugs and eat like a freak. And welcome to another episode of Freak Eating vs. The World. Today we're playing with blenders. It's actually a game that I'm playing with three other YouTube channels. Von Seven Anime Freak, Damon Devours, and hey, what's up there? It's Chuck from the Bronx. And here lies the aftermath of one wicked sandwich challenge. Oh, I feel like crap. Oh, I feel like crap. I'm gonna go wash my face so this burns.